Hello everyone, and today we will dive deep into the deep game mechanics. Because something is going on with Liu Che's expertise, and I think no one knows about it actually. Or they underestimate his expertise, and I think for sure that you should expertise Liu Che, and here is why. Let's first dive into the comparisons. In this test, we are going to compare Alexander the Great without a secondary with Liu Che without a secondary, and this is because they have the same talent trees and their skills don't have any rage buffs in them. So, normally we expect them to have their active skill triggered at the same time, right? So that this is what we're gonna figure out. So how does that work? We are diving into the rage mechanics like Wick used to do and I think I'm gonna research rage more and well take over Wick gaming spot maybe because he is not active anymore. His videos are really nice but I will do some rage videos as well starting with calculations. So let's dive into the tests. Here we see uh, well an Excel sheet and on the left side we have the turns and we have rage in each turn. This is against a barbarian so the first turn gives me less rage and that is basically because the barbarian doesn't give me rage from its counterattack because it doesn't well I don't deal a counterattack to the barbarian because he doesn't deal um, an base attack to me right so that sound sounds uh, well very very difficult and stuff but well just believe me this is true um, then we will only get 118 rage basically every single turn after and then we trigger our active skill with Alexander at turn 10 because at turn 9 we accumulated a thousand rage and the turn after you're gonna pop your active skill and we expect the same pretty much with Liu Che, right? Okay, so let's prove it. We got turn 10, we got this uh, active skill on Alexander the Great, right? See Alexander, and it popped in turn 10 just like my calculation because the base rage is there so I will explain these mechanics later on in another video so for now you just gotta believe me what I say okay so our uh, normal attack our basic attack gives you 86 base rage right and this is what we expect for Liu Che a plain Liu Che and you already see expertise triggers in this, what we have here, in this Excel sheet. So in column H, there you can see we triggered it four times, okay. Um, so previously everyone thought you would get plus nine rage. And why? Well, normally in the expertise it says a 25% chance to deal another normal attack. So a basic attack, which gives you, according to the talent tree, nine extra rage from Undying Fury. But you don't get the burning blood, because this is only if, uh, this is only for a counter attack, right? So if the enemy attacks you, so that doesn't matter, basically. So here you can see what I mean. We have on turn one, we got 86 base rage, plus nine from the, the first normal attack right the first basic attack and nine from the expertise skill because you trigger it again another basic attack so this is what we thought it was 104 rage and we would trigger in turn 10 again right so this is exactly what we thought would happen but that's not the case actually we will get the 86 rage from a base attack basic attack we will get that 86 rage double and this is insane and we will also get that 9 rate from your talent tree so that means in turn 1 against the barbarian I did 190 rage I got an 190 rage and this is against the barbarian against uh, a non-barbarian so against the player you would just get 213 rage just like in turn 3 and in turn 5 and this is because on the first t 2 or 1 turn of the barbarian you don't get um, rage for the counterattack, right? Because you don't deal a counterattack 
due to, to the barbarian because he doesn't deal a normal attack to you. So the first turn is different against barbarians, but against, well, for example, me against you, we would gain more rage in the front in the first turn, just like turn three and turn five. And this is the actual rage count. You would actually uh, activate your active skill at turn eight, and that's a significant change. So we got the expertise skill of Liu Che. We got it triggered thrice in a seven turn window period, which is a little bit above average, but we got two less turns as with Alex, which is, I think, pretty significant. And there is, this is just the calculations. So you might think, well, you might be wrong, right? So no, I can back up myself. Here is the proof. We have the battle log, turn one. We activate the king of all kings, of, as, uh, as you can see. Turn two, we don't. Turn three, we actually do, there we go. Turn four, we don't. Turn five, we pop it again. Turn six, we don't. Turn seven, we don't. And turn eight, we pop that active skill. So this is actually true. So what does this mean for Liu Che's expertise? Not only does that extra normal attack or basic attack as it is called now trigger more often, but you also get a lot of rage. So actually it should be this. You have a 25% chance to gain 86 plus 9 rage in one extra turn. And it's important to not forget that you can also trigger more buffs. You can trigger the ring in that extra turn. You can trigger the horn in that extra turn. You can trigger many, many percent chance skills in that, in that extra turn that you get, the extra basic attack, right? So this is why Liu Che is a must expertise commander. You honestly have an inbuilt Horn of Fury on steroids. Because what it basically says is you have 25% chance to get like 95 rage with Liu Che. And the Horn of Fury says you have a 30% chance to gain 50 rage. So actually it's even better as the Horn of Fury. You have a free Horn of Fury if you expertise Liu Che. That's what the conclusion is. It is even better in fact. It is even better as an expertise or a special talented Horn of Fury. Yeah, it's 5% more triggering, like it's triggering more often earn, but this is insane. But wait, remember, I said 86 plus 9 with Liu Che. So, wait a minute. What if we have the Meta March, CPO Liu Che? We have 9 from Undying Fury and 9 from Burning Blood. So this means we get 86 plus 9 plus 9 rage for 25% chance uh, to trigger, right? So that is 104 rage in one turn. And that means we hit the rage cap. So here you see Liu Che uh, as primary. You get 118 plus 9 plus 86. And that is 213. The rage cap is 220, so we can actually get 7 more rage per turn in those turns that the expertise is triggering, right? So let's let's take a look. How, how far can we take it if we use CPO as primary? So in this case, we only get one proc on the expertise. And this means we will have the skill activated in turn 9 instead of turn 10. And it's important that this proc is not in turn 9, because then it would still have been turn 10 that we activate the buff. So it must be before turn 7 actually, or before turn 8. So we reach 1000 rage on turn 8. That is important. So not on turn 9, the proc. And let's back this up. In turn 1, we got nothing. Turn 2, we got nothing. Turn 3, we got nothing, turn, turn 4, nothing again, no expertise trail, trigger, turn 5 as well, turn 6, there is no trigger, turn 7, we got king above all kings, or above all kings in general, I forgot the name, and in, well, 8 as well, but that didn't matter because we already hit a thousand rage, even without above king, above all kings, we was, would still hit the thousand rage. So, hey, 
you want to trigger those above all kings in turns one to let's say five or six because if you activate them later you will have a thousand rage and if you have a thousand rage and get it again then it doesn't matter anymore because you are going to cast your active skill anyways right and ideally turn one and turn three you don't want them there as well but this is only after your first skill cycle. So Rejuvenate, you get 100 Rage or 150. I recommend you getting this to 2 out of 3 because with 121 base Rage and if you get 150 extra, you leak 51 Rage. That doesn't do anything because the Rage cap is 220. So you need Rejuvenate only 2 out of 3. After the first skill cycle, Rejuvenate will activate in turn 1, when you well, your first skill turn, so that's basically turn 1 again, and turn 3, your secondary commander skill. In reality, this would be like turn 9 and 11, or turn, turn 8 and 10. Anyways, um, you are above the rage cap, and if you would get more rage from above all kings, that doesn't apply anymore because you reached the rage cap, so you wouldn't want that. But you cannot prevent it, it's just based on luck. So what if we have two procs within our first before our first skill cycle? Hey, turn one and turn six. Then we would trigger our active skill in turn eight, according to my sheet. So let's back that up again. Battle log, turn one. Wait a minute, turn 8, yeah, you see it pops here, turn 8, so let's take a look if it doesn't pop more often. Turn 1, we got above all kings, indeed. Turn 2, we don't. Turn 3, we don't. Turn 4, we don't. Turn 5, we don't. Turn 6, we actually do again, so that's the second one. And turn 7, we don't. Turn 8, doesn't matter because we already cast our skill. So 2 triggers is average, but what if we get 3? We would cast our active skill in turn 7 already. That's insane. Um, I don't think I found a clip of me um, getting this. But it is possible, I guess. It's not even that rare, probably. You just need them before your first five turns because on your sixth turn you already hit the thousand rage anyway so if you get another proc it doesn't matter because you hit the rage cap and you're above a thousand and your skill would cast anyways and keep in mind this is when entering battle and this is a, a probably approximately uh, like 10 percent chance of happening to you triggering your active skill in turn seven which is actually not that rare, in one in every 10 battles you do it, basically. So how far can we push it? This is the furthest we can push it. If we are extremely lucky with CPL Liu and we trigger it four times, we would get an active skill in turn six. Um, but this is pretty rare. I tested it against the Barbarian. Against Barbarians, you would never, 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 never get a skill in turn 6 because of, well, the Barbarians give you 104 base rage on the first turn instead of 121 against the player. I explained that before already, so that is not new. But the odds of you getting in turn 2 to 5, getting that... Um, damage or no getting the above all kings is pretty rare it's probably not gonna happen uh, in a 1v1 against someone else you can also trigger in turn one so you can basically be unlucky in one turn you just need four out of five but it is so hard to get that it's like almost impossible but in theory it's possible i would say like a two percent chance that it happens to you um so that's kind of cool Let's head to the conclusion. The expertise of Liu Che is even better as the Horn of Fury. This means if it procs more often as regularly, you honestly don't even need the Horn of Fury anymore. Because if it interferes, then you have a problem because you're above the rage cap and it doesn't matter if the Horn procs at the same time as the expertise, you know. 
So, because of the rage cap, I don't recommend you investing in the Horn of Fury if you max Liu Che, which for me is a must, in my opinion. The Greatest Glory is a better replacement because you deal 5% more um, smite damage plus 5% more counterattack damage plus 5% more base damage, which is really good base attack. This makes you more anti-swarm, which is really nice because in the open field you're getting swarmed all the time, basically. You're getting hit by multiple marches, which also means you get more rage. You get 16 rage per, per person that swarms you, but I will cover that in a future video about rage because it's uh, we have a lot to talk about still. So the conclusion, Liu Che is a must expertise commander because you gain a lot of rage from it. You don't need the Horn of Fury anymore, you can just invest in the Greatest Glory. And my prediction is that the next infantry will be Smite and Liu Che will be meta with the field commander. And well, basically you don't need the Horn anymore then. Greatest Glory will do enough, and well, if the new commander for sure has like a 900 rage requirement or an 850, which is really rare but is possible, then for sure it would be broken with Liu Che. Well, anyways, if you learn something new, which I, well, that must, yeah, that must be the case, right? Consider joining Discord, which is in the comments. Leave the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.